Hi, this is Pastor Glenn from Chapmanville Community Church. Before we get started today, I just want to say a special hello to Miss Frances. I was able to visit with Frances and her family the other day. Frances is 103 years old. She's not able to get out like she used to be, but she watches this regularly, and I just appreciate her. And I appreciate each one of you who are able to watch. So wherever you are, realize that somewhere in the area there is a lady who is 103 years old who is using technology to connect with people and to grow in her faith and her walk with Jesus today. So special shout out and hello, and we love you, Miss Francis, and we love the rest of your family as well, and uh, we pray God's blessing for you this Christmas and this coming new year. As we get started, we are doing a study in the uh, Gospel of Luke, and we've titled this An Invitation to Christmas. This is a devotional we're doing for the month of December where we are asking God to use his word to prepare our hearts for Christmas. We're reading one chapter a day that corresponds with the day of the month. And so since today is December 17th, we are looking at Luke chapter 17 and asking him to use this in our lives. I hope you've already read. Before we get started though, we're going to ask God to teach us today. So join with me in prayer. Father in heaven, I thank you today for this time and this opportunity to get together. And I thank you for Miss Francis and others, regardless of their age, that we're able to come together to learn and grow in our walk with you. So Father, I pray that you would bless this time and that your Holy Spirit would be our teacher and you would show us what we need and prepare our hearts for this Christmas and beyond. It's in the name of Jesus we pray these things. Amen. As I was reading through this chapter, one verse continued to jump out at me and speak to me. And it's, it is Luke chapter 17, verse 5. That's my highlighted verse. Let's read this together. The apostles said to the Lord, increase our faith. Pretty short verse. The apostles said to the Lord, increase our faith. Throughout the Gospel of Luke, Jesus has been teaching his followers um, uh, truths and instruction that is really life-changing uh, to them. It's, it's not the status quo. In fact, it's taking the status quo and turning it on its head. And as a result of this, I believe that his, his followers, his disciples, were hearing him and saying, Lord, we can't do this on our own. Will you please increase our faith? And as a result of that, Jesus begins to teach them. As the passage continues, we know the wording, we've heard it. If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you'll be able to say to this mulberry bush or mulberry tree to be uprooted and thrown into the sea and it will obey you, it will happen. We know that faith is essential for the Christian life. Andy Stanley has this quote about faith that I have, have appreciated and have held on to. Stanley said this, that faith is believing that God is who he says he is and that he will do everything he says he will do. That we believe God, we believe who that he, he is who he says he is. And that's why it's important for us to read scripture. So we hear and we know who God is from God's word that we understand who he is. But it's more than that, friends, that he will do everything he says he will do. That's, that's the important thing. And as I apply this to my life, what, what does this mean? Well, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6 says that without faith, it is impossible to please him. We can't please God if we're walking by sight. No, we have to step out in faith and trust him. And so as I look at this passage and think, you know, God, what is it that you want me to do? How do you want to shape my life and my heart and change me this Christmas season? It's It goes back to this, this word, this phrase, Lord, increase my faith. Because I don't want to be at the same place next year that I am today. And I don't want to be the same place today that I was last year. I want God to ever be increasing my faith. 
Well, that's my prayer, not only for me, but it's also my prayer for you as well. Tell me what jumped out at you from Luke chapter 17. Send me an email, share it with me. More importantly, live it out in your life. And in doing so, allow God to prepare you and your heart for this Christmas season and beyond. Again, thanks for joining with us. I look forward to talking with you next time. This is Pastor Glenn, and between now and then, may God richly bless you and your family.